Hello, Tim O'Kelly here. Want to spend a couple minutes with you taking a turn from what I usually do. And this topic, very focused, very directed, how to quit smoking, right? By using all the things that I talk about, okay? So a tool that you can use to help you quit smoking. Now, honestly, to quit doing many other things. But specifically, we're talking about smoking, okay? So before we jump into it, just a little bit of background. been doing personal development for 27 years. I love it. It is my career. I'm passionate about it. And what I like about it most is the little things that we can shift that produce such enormous results that I never learned in school, I never learned in the Catholic Church. Just an additional education that I could shift my thinking that I never learned in school. I was told think good, think positive, but I never was told how to. I was always told to change my attitude when I was young. I never knew how to. And then coming in and finding out how to change an attitude, how to change the way I think, produce a different result, I'm in. And I've been in since 1988. Okay, so one of the things that I did on that journey was I, I smoked when I came into the journey. You know, and shortly after I started the journey, I quit smoking. And I, you know, I, I, I've never made a video on this before. And, and, and preparing this and thinking about it, when I did quit, and this is going to sound really bad maybe, I quit and went, what's the big deal? You know, and I know that's so horrible, especially if you have struggled with it. But I want to say this, though. By me learning some tools, it made it pretty easy versus struggling, versus a, a, a little bit and then starts a little bit. So I'm talking about cutting it off and not smoking again. Okay, So that's what I want to just talk about here for, for just a couple of minutes, a couple of things that you can do that will literally help you quit smoking. Okay, One of them is we've got to change our identity. Okay, so real quick, identity. Identity is how we identify ourselves to ourselves and to the world. You know, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a businessman, I, I'm a speaker, I am, I am I, I'm healthy or I'm not healthy or I'm, I'm sick, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, more, I'm tired. I, just however we identify ourselves. Now, the trick is most of this is just unconscious, okay? Now, if you're a smoker and you've been a smoker for a long time, it's part of your identity. Your house is set up for it. Your car is set up for it. When you go to eat, you've always got your mind on where can I smoke? And now and now it's getting harder and harder, right, to find places to smoke. But that's your identity is I'm a smoker. Even though we want to pretend often that we're not, we don't want to tell everybody that. But So one is we have to stop the old identity and create a new identity. Because if we don't, this is where the struggle is. If I still have that identity and then I go to do tools, you know, tools, you know, that you can get on TV, the little cigarettes that have, you know, all those tools out there, the, the patches and everything, you're going to struggle. I don't care what anybody says about how great those tools are. One of the biggest problems is, is we'll take the tools, but we will never change it until we change our identity. First step. And now, here's the next trick. If you go, okay, you know what? That makes sense. My new identity is that I'm a non-smoker. Here, here's the problem with that. And I don't have time to go into all this right now. If you want to study it, you can, or you can take my word and go for it. The subconscious mind that runs what we do, the cravings, the urges, how we show up in life, the subconscious mind is, 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 the, is the engine, really. If you put in the picture of I'm a non-smoker, how it works is the last word you said, smoker. So what is the image sent to the subconscious mind? Smoke. You don't want that anywhere in your subconscious mind. You do not want that in your subconscious mind. So now, changing your identity, how could you say that that is very healthy? Now, I don't want to just give you, here's what to think. I want, it's got to be good for you. You know, and what I did is I am healthy. My lungs are healthy. I can breathe freely. My, my breath tastes good. 
Right? So to do this on a constant basis when you're wanting to stop, and I would even recommend if you want to, don't stop right now. Just start working on the identity. And then once you start working on that and you start believing more of this new identity, then you want to, on the outside, take care of your environment. Start changing your environment, cleaning the house, moving a place. If you always smoke in the same place, redo the furniture. And I'm not joking. If you're really serious about it, change your environment. You don't have to go buy new furniture. Move things. Don't have that same place that you sit at. Okay, now if it's in your car, then you're not really going to go buy a new car necessarily. Go clean your car. Go have it detailed, right? And with a new identity, you will not want to smoke in that car. Now, what's going to happen here is if you really do change your identity, that you are healthy, that your lungs are healthy, your breath is fresh, okay, that is going to, one, start getting you excited. You'll actually feel better. And the more that you feel better, the more that you, the cravings subside. See, cravings for cigarette come from feeding a belief that I am a non uh, that I'm a smoker, or when I get stressed, I have to smoke, or when I drink, I, you know, I have to, if that's, again, part of your identity, your subconscious mind will give you cravings to feed that identity. And it's doing perfect. You got it? It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. If you create a different environment in your mind, a different uh, identity, that craving is not going to be there. You know what's going to be there? Craving for healthy stuff is going to be there. You have to understand this. Whatever we put in our system, a majority of the time, our body starts to crave. Okay, so now, and you've heard this, and I'm not, I'm not against it. I didn't do it. I didn't need to, but some people choose to uh, have carrot sticks, have celery sticks, have something healthy in their mouth. If, that, if you're having a hard time with that, absolutely. The recommendation is make sure it's healthy, though. Okay, now, I'm going to give you one other technique that you can do, and I don't want to overwhelm you because this is really all that you need to do. Change your identity inside, change your environment on the outside. Now, there's one other thing that you can do. And that is just in your mind, if you will take just five minutes to do this one technique, you don't have to do it every day either, is close your eyes. And then I want you to picture you smoking. I want you to picture you, I mean, to make it a brutal picture too. Make it a picture that's brutal. And then secret is put a dark border around it. I mean, dark black border around like a frame around a picture. And I want you to picture this. You're in a room and there's smoke everywhere. Your, your clothes are smoking. Your head is smoking. You got maybe two cigarettes, right? And I mean, it's just packed with smoke. And I want you to look at your face in this picture of how gross it might be and how disgusting it might be. And I want you to see that. And I want you to feel that. Because if you're wanting to smoke, there's a part of you that does believe that, right? So allow yourself to feel the disgust and feel the look and just get ugh about it. Okay, now, then you close that picturing down. Now you create another picture. And this one, I would recommend put a white or a light frame around it. Fun or, you know, brighter lights. Whatever's good for you. Color-wise is good. So all you're doing is changing the internal picture. Right? Changing the internal dialogue, changing the internal belief. Okay? So now in this picture, you really want to have you, you know, really create like the best place for you. If you're out and you're running and you're jogging, you're at the beach and your breath has that little ting, you know, like that dentine, I don't know if it's dentine or what, that commercial where the breath is minty fresh or whatever, right? That you see that, you see you uh, engaged in conversations with people right? And the air is good. The air is clean. You exercising, you running, you, and I want you to, here's the, here's the key to this. You got to see your face. That's why we have imagination. We're the only creatures on the planet who can imagine something that doesn't exist right now. You look at your face and how happy you are. And I know it's not just about being happy. This works right here. This one technique really works. See yourself happy. See whoever is around you that might be affected by your smoking. I want you to see them around you looking up at you clapping. They're excited for dad. Wife excited for their husband. Right? 
family, workers, just really being appreciative or, or acknowledging it, seeing your face. Your face even looks better, right? Um, you've got to capture that. If you don't do the internal identity shift and you don't do this technique, you're going to have a struggle with it because all the stuff on the outside is not going to work. We got to go on the inside. We got to start with the inside. And if you want to use those tools, in addition to what I've talked about, go ahead. But you probably find you don't need to. It's got to be that internal shift. Okay. So just real quick, the identity shift, the external, the outside of you, your environment, change it. Just have it be different for you and see dark, bad, ick, unhealthy. And then shift it to white, light colors, healthier, happier, vibrant, and affecting people in a positive way. You paint that picture, watch what happens. And uh, I just really want to appreciate you taking the time to do this. As my recommendation is, as soon as you can, you start with that technique right there. You close your eyes. Even if it's for three minutes or four minutes, if you have a hard time closing your eyes, then go in for a little bit. And then maybe if it's not clear yet, go back in the next day. But get that picture really clear, all right? Change your identity, change the environment, and enjoy being healthy. Thank you for checking this out. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.